Welcome back to an edition of Precision Fly of the Week. Today we're going to tie the Holy Grail Caddis. Hook I got on the vise is a Hanek 310 with a 1 8 tungsten bead. So when we start this thread here, we're going to start actually in front of the bead. What this pattern is really known for is the hidden bead. You're going to take the bead, bring it up there, and then you want to leave about a hook eye's gap or so because we're going to tie in the hackle in front of the bead. So the way I basically lock in that spacing is I'll take my thread and I'll jump it behind the bead and that way it's not going to slide around. Now I can jump it back up again and build that thread down. Now that bead's going to sit exactly where I want. For the ribbing, we're going to use some Pearl Flashaboo just tie it in right behind the bead and take it to the bend of the hook. For the body, we're going to use some hairs here. Now take the flashaboo and wrap it up to the bead, and then tie it off. The ribbing. Then trim off the excess. I'm gonna add just a little bit more dubbing behind this bead here. And then I'm going to jump it back in front of the bead again. I'm going to take my hackle, which is Hungarian partridge, and tie it in. And then be careful when you trim it that you don't cut your thread or the hackle. Take your fingers. Wet, this hack, wet the hackle and push them towards the bend of the hook. And then we're going to do one and a half to full turn or two turns of the hackle in front of this bead and then tie it off. Trim off the excess hackle. And just clean up the head of the fly with your thread. But finish. And I like to add a drop of Solar Res Bone Dry on the head to make it, that whip finish a little bit more durable. Just zap it with your light. And there you have it. Finish fly. Pretty easy to tie. Super effective. Tie a few up. Let us know how you do. Thanks for watching.